Welcome everybody. Today's video finds us over here in Utong, Thailand. And I'm right in front of a pretty cool old Chetty. I think this is what they call Chetty number nine. And Utong is over here kind of between Sufanburi and Kanchanaburi. It's about two hours outside of Bangkok. And what I came over here to do is I wanted to look around a little bit of the old Utong. And one of it, one of the places here is this what prow or what cow pra si sam pet is the name of it it's a temple and should have a nice little reclining buddha and it's part of the old town of utong so uh, let's look at this little chetty and then we'll go look at the temple and see what we see check out this chetty though this is fantastic now this is a Mon style chetty, and it's just one of a series that's here in the old ancient town of Utong. And now it's got modern houses and stuff here, but it was an old like Diwadi Sawanapun settlement in this area. And it was uh, actually you know, easily accessible by boat. So uh, they did a lot of international trade with India, China, everything up into here. The river has since got a lot more uh, sediment and it's the coastline has expanded out, but uh, now this is pretty much landlocked here. So uh, anyway, there's an old settlement here. They've even found Roman coins. And I was wanting to come over here to Utong today to see the museum, but it's locked up for the national holiday. So I'll have to come up here another day. So this is the temple grounds itself. It's quite spacious. And it has like a temple building over there. And then we'll go up and we'll see the reclining Buddha. That's what I want to see here. I'm looking back down the road right here. That's the old town. And there's a series of chetties that most of them are in pretty terrible condition. I've been over here before. I always want to come over here and I want to go and see all of the chetties. But it always seems like I never have enough time to, to get everything accomplished. Now this over here, this is a new temple building. We'll look at it. It looks like it's locked up, but we'll look at it on the outside. This is the Weehan right here. It's definitely Bangkok styling. So I don't know when it was built. And then there's the ordination hall over there. And you hear the chickens. And both of them are locked up. I don't know when they're open, but uh, we won't be able to see inside of them. Some nice styling. You can see the ordination stones all around out here. And you can see all the imagery above the windows, those little birds, the naga up there. Really, really nice. Just a normal temple building that you see. Okay, let's walk over here. We're gonna go up these stairs this way. That up there is the objective. They have a few little odds and ends down here. A little market, a little boat with the monks on it, and some shrines. And then they have some chetties out here in the trees and the bathrooms over here. Oh, this is pretty cool. You can see these just in the trees. You can see what it looks like. So these look like some newer chetties maybe some important people are buried here and they look like fairly new constructs unless there are some old ones that they renovated but they don't look like that to me here's the boat it's got the garuda on the front with the nagas around his hands the prayer wheels and all the monks and the drum and stuff now usually you'll do these for like some ceremonies they'll pull this down through town and people will come out the monks will ride on it you got a dog over here and a chicken a big, huge mickled chicken, and then my ride that I came on over here. So I just jumped on the motorcycle, came over here. Anyway, they, uh, they'll pull that through. People can uh, make donations to the temples. The monks will ride on it and uh, splash them with the water, stuff like that. Okay, let's go up these stairs. A little shrine down here with some of the mural paintings. And some more stuff over there for the temple. And then up here, the stairs. Got the Naga here, little Chinese shrine, the Guan Yin. It's kind of an interesting little shrine. Looks like it's a stone tablet and it has the Buddha image carved on it. And then they've stuck a lot of the gold leaf on it. And they have a little shrine underneath this overhang. It looks like some rubble over here. So maybe these are some of the old stones that they've rounded up and uh, put down here. 
Yes, let's climb these stairs. Now there's a lot of these caves and stuff like that in this area between here and Kenchanaburi. I've been to quite a few cave temples in this area and they're kind of cool to see. Okay, so this is the whole reason I wanted to come to this temple right here. This is way, way cool. Now I was just talking to this guy right here and he told, told me this is Dewadi or the Sawanapun and this little reclining Buddha is 1,400 years old. Oh, this is amazing here. And it's just underneath this little rock outcropping. And you can see all the other little figures. Ah, oh, this is really, really cool. So you can see the feet here. And he said that this was redone during the Ayutthaya kingdom, but it's originally 1,400 years old. And it's just underneath this little rock. Ah, oh, this is really neat. And the guy says if you go down here in this little trail around, there's a chetty underneath here in this little cave. But he says it's just down to the ruin. There's not much to see. And this little part right here, this was the top of that little jetty that's in there. And now it's part of this little shrine. Okay, so let's go down here into this cave. I can see bats flying around. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear them. Yeah, you can see the bats. Ah, oh, this is great, way cool. So it just curves right down around there. So if you're afraid of bats, this is not the place to come. <laughs> get bit with and get some rabies. Yeah, so you can see it right up here. And there's bats everywhere. So this is the ruins of the Chetty. So they just built it right down here and now they have this Buddha sitting in front of it. Not much to see, kind of a fun little climb down. Yeah, climb back up here. Now they say this was originally just a stone Buddha and then they put the plaster over the top of it to give it its, its full shape. Yeah, it was fun down here. Now let's go up here. I think there's a Buddha footprint up here in a moon drop. That's the last thing I want to see, but we should be able to have a nice view of Utong itself. All right, so we're up here on top. Have some uh, nice little lilies and you can see the moon drops. And check this out. This is Utong. And all back that way, that's the old city. Yeah, this used to be an important trade hub. And ships were able to get up here from the ocean. And then uh, silt built up and the uh, Tassin River became pretty much too shallow. So this area was abandoned, trade dried up. And so they moved and this whole place was abandoned. This is a nice little building here. Bangkok styling has the pigeons up there. The Buddha in front of the Bodai tree. Oh, check this out. Oh, so there would have been a huge chetty up on this hill. Oh, how cool is this? I didn't even realize it, but you can drive up the road up to here. Check out that moon drop. Oh, this is so cool. There's just tons of little shrines all across here. And then we'll see the view. Check this out. So you got a Chinese cemetery over there. And then we have, who is this? This is King Chulalong Korn, Rama 5. And then way over there, I've been there. That's the, uh, the stone Buddha. Oh, it's a quite, quite cool. And then you got a Chinese cemetery out there. And there's another one of those big chetties over there. And you can't see it, but way up on the top of that hill is another one of these chetties. So you can see how this would have been constructed. It has the square bases and it builds up and that would have been the little bell dome. That would have been all, went all the way up to that little heat sea, that little umbrella at the top. And it would have definitely been the Mon styling. It was uh, Dewadi or Sawanapun. And then here you have a little Ganesh. This right here was a small little arch. So they would have had something right here. Now this was declared a national monument in 1957. And they say it was restored two different times. It was restored during the Diwadi era 
and it was restored again under the Ayutthaya era. Okay, let's look at this Buddha footprint. This will be the last thing we look at. So this is the Buddha footprint right here. Yeah, this is a great little building also. You can see the three Buddha images there. And then this is the Buddha footprint. And it'll have all the little religious symbols inside of it. And usually this will be a series of Buddha footprints, like four of them. You can see all the little markings for the toes. And you can see here how it has the, the ring. So it will be a, it'll be four footprints inside of it. And they built this whole little building here over the top of it. This closes at five o'clock. So it's open from eight till five. You can see the little windows up there with some little images. And then the doors. I'll have that black lacquer that they painted the, the little figures in. And then this is, again, looking back towards Utong. Yeah, this is great. This is a lot of fun to come up here and see this. I'm going to finish up our video over here at Cao Pra Si San Pet. This is fantastic. I've had a really, really good time checking this out. It exceeded my expectations. I was really excited to see that reclining Buddha, but I did not expect to see this cool chetty up here on the top of the hill. It's just really, really nice. I love coming in, seeing stuff like this. This temple and all of this dates back to the Dewadi or the Sawanapun. So it's pre-Sukhothai, pre-Khmer, pre-Ayutthaya uh, kingdom. It's really, really, really old. And this was, like I said before, this was like an important trade center. They're actually at the museum here. They have a Roman coin. And I really wanted to go and see that in the museum today. That was the main reason I came over here to Utong. Just, I'm kind of crazy like that. So I wanted to see the little Roman coin just to think about somebody carried that all the way from Rome over to here. It would have been, it just is always amazing when you think about, you know, the ancient trade and stuff like that. But this, uh, this town, the, the river became silted up. They couldn't trade like they used to. So it was all abandoned. And then it was came back in here and reclaimed during the Ayutthaya era. And then whenever the Burmese came through here, they swept and everybody was either enslaved or uh, killed or they fled away. And so all this area was abandoned up until I think like Rama IV, they started coming back in here and settling this again. So anyway, this is over here in Utong, which is Sefumburi province. And this is way cool. If you ever get a chance, come over here and check this out. This is Khao Pra Si Sampet Temple. And it's, uh, it's pretty cool. So anyway, if you, uh, if you like the video, smash like. If, uh, if you've been here or if you have any questions, if you like the bats, uh, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about the bats. If uh, you want to go down in that cave, <laughs> you can. Uh, and uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, stick around, and then you're notified when I post a new video. This is the kind of stuff I do. I just walk around, show you things that I see. It's all unscripted. So what you see is what you get from me. So until uh, next time, from over here in Utang, remember, life is a journey. Enjoy. Enjoy.